Hello, Jess Sue Good here, and aside from the Luigi starter course, this was my most anticipated Super Mario summer set. This is the LEGO Super Mario Bowser's Airship set, releasing August 1st, 2021 around the world, unless you lived in Japan where I imported it. This has a total of three characters, 1,152 pieces, and this retails for $100 in the United States. Does not include LEGO Mario or Luigi. You can only get them in the starter sets. Let's take a look at the characters. Of course, Mario and Luigi don't appear in here. We have a Goomba, Kamikoopa, and Rocky Wrench. I really like the build for Kamikoopa, who gives us some new prints, whether it be those one by ones for the goggles or those one by two bricks for the top and the bottom of the face there. The broom build is pretty cool. I like the use of that barrel piece for the broom part at the end. That's actually some nice part usage. And Kamek's hat is built using this piece, so you can move it backwards if you'd like. And this just loosely attaches to the broom there, where Kamek has an action tile on themselves, and the broom itself has an action tile. So Lego Mario or Luigi can knock off Kamek and go on the broom. This has some sounds, but this is actually part of a play feature of another part of the set, which doesn't use this little clear base. The clear base has a 2x2 two two jumper at the top. As for Kamek and the action tiles, well, jumping on Kamek, you need a total of four hits. And I like the little Mario 64 secret sound that it gives. And Kamek's arms are also poseable, using a new arm piece introduced with this LEGO Mario line. And then the build for the staff, I think, could have been a little bit more elaborate. It just looks kind of lame. The Goomba figure of this set is really nice with this pirate hat design that is just adorable. That's a 2x2 two two tile with a Bowser face print, and that appears throughout this set. And that's a loose connection on the Goomba there where you could just easily knock off the hat and then it reveals the action tile. And that just gives us one coin. I do believe this two by two face print is new and exclusive to this set. And the two by two of the walking feet there in that brown color is new and exclusive to the set. And the final enemy of the set is Rocky Wrench. This design using a new two by two print at the front. That's a sloped piece. And at the back, we have a new action tile. And this design has this plate at the top because this integrates into the set at a hidden location, which we'll show in a little bit. But anyways, this action tile requires Lego Mario or Lego Luigi to step on it three times to get the coins. So the build of the set isn't only Bowser's airship, but we also have this cannon to start the level. And I really like the build for this cannon because it's reminiscent of the ones from Super Mario 64 with the color scheme and nice part usage of that pipe piece in black, which we've gotten in green a lot of times throughout this series and even in yellow. This does move side to side just with this Technic build in the middle. And inside we have that two by two action tile, which starts the level. And that's actually kind of clever because it wouldn't have the regular music in an airship level, so they have to have a new start tile. But anyways, putting Mario or Luigi inside there, blast them out, and then your level starts with 90 seconds. Unfortunately, there's no new goal piece in this set, so you'll just have to use the flags of the other sets, but I guess that kind of makes sense. But for the airship build, oh my gosh. This is probably the best looking LEGO Super Mario set where no part of the build is compromised for play. Rather, it captures a display that's just gorgeous for this exterior build, but also has a whole bunch of play features in this course building system. And I'm just massively impressed. All around here, back, side, and front, there's just details, and I love how this is built. But let's start at the front. But by removing these two parts at the side, you can get a better look at the interior of this gorgeous build, which folds out like this. And I'm just massively impressed on how smooth that feature works. Again, no part of this build being compromised by such a smooth play feature. And we'll look at the secrets of the interior soon. For now, let's just finish up with the exterior, taking a look and starting at the front. Just put the plate back on to secure it. But starting at the front of this build, I love the Bowser head here, which we get another Bowser head at the back of the airship. 
And this design, I like how it uses a lighter green or more muted green with that sand green or olive green. I get them all mixed up. Uh, then the Bowser figure makes it look more like this statue design they were going for. I just triggered one of the other play features. That's a very nice brick build. And like I said, you can find one directly at the back as well with this mini Bowser head, but this one has function. We'll take a look at that later. And finishing up with the boat hull, I like how they use these bigger boat pieces towards the front really, but more brick builds towards the back. And this is key in capturing that whole play function where they have to have a little bit of a gap here and some plates and tiles filling that in. Thankfully, the gap isn't anything obnoxious, and that actually looks a little bit more authentic with this binding here, and these colors just slightly popping through. Other builds, I wouldn't prefer that, but I actually like it in this airship build. There's also some really nice cannons at the side, which you get a better look at removing the plate, and those have these nice two-by-two two prints of the Bowser face there, and those have are, are, are actually on flaps right here, which are hinge connections, so you can move them up and down. And I like the use of that newer piece that has a circular design and then has those four studs in the middle, which I think were introduced with the Star Wars sets earlier this year. And then you just have a two by two circular tile in the middle there. And then towards the back, really love this, this design right here, uh, which just adds to that elegant look that this airship should have. And then at the back, you can see some propellers towards the bottom here. Very nice build using some unconventional pieces for a propeller build. And also these lanterns right here, which are just clipped on. Uh, you can also find some of those, uh, where are they? Oh, yeah, towards the side of this part, the captain's cabin. Anyways, for that Bowser head build, this one has the mouth open as opposed to the one at the front. And there's a play feature for that with the Monty Mole, which we'll get to in a little bit. Same design with these lanterns towards this side, and I like the use of these one by one translucent bricks for little windows. But for the deck of the boat, we have the ship's stern towards the front there. And then this play feature, which I accidentally triggered earlier, there's the crow's nest at the top, but they have these propellers that you could twist in the middle, which is fun to play around with. But basically get Lego Mario or Luigi to knock this part right here just by stepping on this two by four tile. And that whole part comes flying off. And then eight hits later, you destroy one part of the boat and get some coins. And then there's this second one, which is a little taller, same feature spinning that part. But the play features on this one on the bottom half are obscured. Removing these two will get a better look. Once again, opening up the ship. And I love the hand build here which uses a lot of pearl gold pieces. Nice getting those tube pieces, and those are just topped off by these two by twos, topped off by those mini pyramid pieces, which give a claw-like design. It's a really well-made small little build. And at the bottom, you have the two by two action tile, which we'll take a look at because there is a little play feature here. See, the hand just slides onto the end of those Technic beams right there. And then you could lift up this beam once you open up the ship and make sure this part just rests under the hand. And then on this little part, you can attach the Kamek on the broom. And then use Luigi to knock off Kamek. And now you have a little game where you see there's a bullseye there and put Luigi on Kamek's broom. Use this middle part. And as I just did, use the broom to knock off the hand and it's really fun to play around with. Though as you saw, it is a bit easy. And the hand requires a total of eight stomps to defeat. But you get a bunch of coins from it. But anyways, there's not too much else to show with the interior of the ship there. The parts that are to the left and right are very hollow just for how this is all built, so it makes sense. So let's remove that broom and put the hand back, and then we could close the ship all up. See how easy that is? And the box shows the hand outside with the ship closed, which is possible. You just gotta make sure the beam is facing this way as you close it. It's a little tricky to get the best position, but uh, there you go, that's a pretty good position. Close off the sides, and then you can just slide the hand up here. And yeah, the ship actually does look pretty cool with the hand outside like that. 
Now all we have is that captain's cabin area at the back, which has some more interesting features. Again, I love the design of these walls here with that dark red and just those little designs like the two by twos and the one by one on top of each other, adding to that texture there. But anyways, plop Rocky Wrench to the back area right here. And then you have the PAL block at the front, which is a block that we've gotten in other sets before. This one uses one by twos with prints in the front and the back. Also that two by two action tile. And I think when you step on that, the next enemy you step on is an instant kill, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, step on the PAL block and look what happens. Rocky Wrench is shot up like a Monty Mall. Isn't that interesting? Let's do that one more time. <laughs> And it's honestly easier to mess with that function when you have the airship open because it's just easier to reach the power lock. And with Rocky removed, inside there's another action tile, which by putting Mario and Luigi inside, it can make them the captain of the ship. <laughs> and the music playing is World 5 of Super Mario Bros. 3, which is such a random choice, but I guess because airships were introduced in that game? I don't know. <laughs> But it is a very cruising music, so maybe it's just the theme that fits. But finally, push this part right here with Luigi. And it's a little bit of a hard fit. But then at the back... A total of 10 hits are required to defeat the final Bowser head. But anyways, I think that's it for the build list set. If you're curious at some interesting angles like the bottom, well, here you go. Before we wrap up the build, let me give this level a shot. All right, here we go. Grown man plays with Lego Mario. Let me remove those. Or maybe that could be something that happens after you knock that part off, but. There you go. Spamming it. Let me put Kamek. Oh no. Come on. I have 60 seconds so I can take my time. <laughs> Let's see. Put this up. Knock that off. All right. And then get in here. Do 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 do. Oh, that. Uh oh. Bowser. Then land on this little part from the starter course. <laughs> yeah, the goal is not included. Again, that's not included. That's just from the Luigi starter course. And I got 57 coins. Not bad. But that's it for the bill of set. Let's take a look at the packaging and the final verdict. The box for this is a $100 big boy box, like, say, Ballard's Castle. At the back, some different shots of the set and all those play features. The instructions have to be accessed through the app until LEGO adds it to the website. So the actual startup guide is very, very quick and it doesn't have any building steps or anything like that. So overall, I love this set. I think this might be my favorite build of a LEGO Mario set because the overall design of this set just captures the airship not only in a way where this is great to display, but this is also great for play. That whole expansion feature of opening up and exploring the interior blows my mind and how that works with all those Technic beams, how smooth that is to open and close. And I think the play features are really interesting where you destroy this airship. I like the part with the broom and the hand. I think that's really fun, albeit a bit too easy. I think in general, just all these Lego Mario sets are a bit too easy. I love the cannon there, which just sets up the level, and it was something that they didn't even need to include, but adds more authenticity to it, having that airship theme, 
with all things considered, I'd rate this one an 8 out of 10. I think if they ever do release LEGO Mario minifigures, this will be an even more popular set because this is basically minifigure scale, if I had to say. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys like this, even if you don't like the course builder system, is this one that you'll just buy regardless? Because I think this is one that can appeal to people who don't even care about this whole LEGO Mario system. Subscribe for more new LEGO Mario reviews and content. Give me ideas for courses to build in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.